The first question in the debate, I mentioned it in the monologue, what is your greatest weakness? Let's ask the panel that. Roger. Uh, too much testosterone gets me in trouble, constantly. <laughs> See, another humble brag. <laughs> My large penis makes other men sad. <laughs> I almost said that. <laughs> Grover. Uh, serious, uh, I should do better at remembering names. I'm in politics, it's a weakness. That's your worst weakness? It's no, the worst it's, thing about you, right? the one I could come up with quickly. I see. <laughs> Maxine, what's your worst? Uh, time management. I just, you know, extend myself. Uh, I don't, you know, calculate how long it's going to take to do something, and I'm always rushing. Okay. Well, I, I'm too nice to my guests. That's my greatest. <laughs> but uh, if, if we were to ask... Uh, now, I meant to, you know, it was just an opportunity for the candidates to humble break. But if you really ask them what their weakness was, let's go through a couple of them. Like, like <laughs> some of them are obvious. Like Ted Cruz, everybody hates him. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Everybody ha I read that everywhere. Everybody yeah. hates Ted yeah. Cruz. That's yeah. his weakness. Yeah. Trump, the only guy who was honest, he said, I don't forgive. I love Trump for that. It's like, I don't forgive. You fuck with me. I'm Vito Corleone. I will follow you back to Italy. I will find you in your old age, and I will stick a knife in your stomach. But, okay, so what about somebody like Dr. Ben Carson? What, what do you think his greatest weakness is? I don't know. I think his greatest weakness is he probably doesn't know who he is. He's certifiable. That, that <laughs> he certifiably is. <laughs> I think he's still finding he himself. Has unnecessary <laughs> prostate surgery. <laughs> that is just the most bizarre thing I've ever heard. Very bizarre. And I think, um, you know, as time goes by, uh, we're going to discover who he really is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we are. I mean, that's yeah. the great thing about a long campaign. That's right. Right. Okay. What about uh, Marco Rubio? Well, look, the challenge for the senators, the challenge for the senators is that they've never actually been governors or run something in the executive branch. So that's going to be a challenge for anybody who wasn't a governor. Uh, if they get to the White House, the challenge for Ben Carson and Trump is that they haven't also run nationally or run political campaigns before. And you can get in trouble, you can make mistakes. Mm, boring. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I told you I was too nice to my guest. All right, what about Jeb, Jeb, Bush, Jeb Bush's answer? I loved it, was I can't fake anger or apparently any other human emotion. <laughs> Jeb, Jeb Bush's biggest problem is his last name. Because let's face it, we need another right. Bush like we need another Clinton. No, he's a wimp. Yeah, well, that's a facile and unfair analogy. No, come on, his campaign slogan, Father, Father, tell him it's my turn to be king. Give me a break. Well, yes, I, I would agree I, I would agree with this. To, to overcome, you're right, people don't want a dynasty in general, and the fact that his brother was the worst president ever. He, 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 would, he would, to overcome all that, to overcome all that, he would have had to be great. And he's not close to great. He's just this boring apparatchik like, like so many other before him. No, that's it, not look. his problem. He's a wimp. He doesn't know how to fight. Yes, that's right. And, and that is so true. I mean, Marco Rubio slapped the white off that's him the right. other day. <laughs> yeah. 